Hey, I'm Shox and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We just found uh, Tamriel, Tamriel's treasure, I think. And now we're going on to the next side quest. We will not do the main quest yet because I think there are a few interesting other missions left. Especially the frying pan. We have to recover a frying pan. Can you imagine anything more interesting? I cannot. That's why we will go after this frying pan right now. Let's do it. We'll be in the books, the conquest for the frying pan. So I've been told I should not stick to the main roads. I should like usually, whenever I can, just go through the forest and the woods and, and like, you know, just through the wilderness because I will find a lot of, uh, you know, things, monsters, side quests, uh, items and stuff. Faster. Can I talk to you? Hmm. Slower. No, no. Let's see, uh, that's one thing that I would like to have, like be able to talk to guys from from my horse because you know in in real life when you're on a horse you don't jump off the horse every time just to say hi how's it going you kind of stay on your horse and say hey how's it going and if you have you know deeper conversation you get off the horse wait what's that oh it's just all the um herbs and things we could collect. Hello. How's it going? Alright, um I thought we actually uh Slower. got the quest here, yeah. Did do we find the Oh we have to get in here. I see, I see. <clears throat> so now I get um what this quest was about. So what's another thing we can break here? Hmm. What do we ignite here? Oh, the candle. Um, I see. Hunting trousers. Yeah, let's take everything, you know, because you get your frying pan and I just get everything else in here. Yes, you know, we're explains the stench. We're, we're pretty mean. But then again, he's dead, so I mean, he doesn't need everything anymore. Um, more crafting. Oh, these are diagrams. Let's see if um, I have more of those in my inventory. Now that I know how they look, I should be able to find them. But I still don't see them. Maybe they're like in a, in a different tab. Mutigans, yes. Like the Mutigans tab. Okay, I will do. Oh, so... Let's see, um... What I can. Both mutigans and abilities are marked with a color. Put a mutigan in a field with at least one ability of the same color to increase its bonus. Oh, nice. If an ability does not match the color of the mutigan in its field, it does not increase the mutigan's bonus. The increase gained from any other abilities in the same field which do not match the mutigan remains. The more abilities in a field that match the color of the field's mutigan, the greater the mutigan's bonus. Each matching ability increases the bonus by 100%. Mutigans can also be used to brew powerful potions called mutigan decoctions. Oh, so we don't actually have anything um, that's green. What we have is... Wait, what do we pick? We pick this one. I don't know why it's no longer uh, selected. I think that demo just removed it. So we get 50 more vit vitality. And 
Let's keep looking through here. If we find a frying pan. Yes, there's the frying pan. And documents. Almost burnt entirely papers. burnt. A few pieces still legible. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Go away. And when you arrange to meet, you fucking show up! I did. Risking my life and the entire blasted operation. And ended up standing there with my plunging cock in my hands, waiting for nothing. I thought the North Guardian army was better organized than that, but you... Something, something. Tell that blessed Lord General of yours that me and my companions don't hold grudges, so we won't break off negotiations. But since our old plan's gone tits up, this time we'll choose the time and place for the next meeting. Interesting. So was he part of... Ah, uh, the priceless frying pan. Hmm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Huh. Well, let's but see if we can read the uh, letters. Oh, wait, we can't read the letter. We can use, um... This? Or, or R something? Let's loot what we have up here. Nope. Nope. Just loot. Just loot. How can I loot this? I want to loot this. <laughs> there you go. Nope. There you go. Honeycomb, Tamarind Rye, and Ervilus. Alright, I think that's everything that we uh, can loot here. Alchemist powder. Let's examine him. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. Found the pan, have you? Hmm. Back to Monaco. Interesting. Found the pan, have you? Shut up, lady. I'll give you the pie as soon as I'm done here. Hmm. Yeah, so it seems that he was meeting up with the, the army, but something went wrong. Um, let's see what's in here. Alchemist powder. Nothing else I can see. Alright, old woman. Guess what? Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the North Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. What do we get? Piece of bread. I think we actually got um some bread. Let's see if we can see um what we got. Completed the frying pad. Hmm. It doesn't actually say what the reward was. We've got some experience points. Um the inventory might tell us what we got. Uh, what new things we got. Um, I think that's everything we already had. Maybe some new pants? Yeah, I mean, might have... Somewhere... We got the pants from somewhere. Um, we have a ton of food, which is great. We have oil. We found a monocle. Oh, it's an item needed to complete a quest. Interesting. So, maybe... We will later run into someone that, you know, was part of that and, and knows the guy in here. But we'd actually find the guy, that the second guy, uh, that was living here and that she was talking about. 
And then we can tell them, hey, you know, we, we found the letters. We know that you were in here. Wait, you were living there. Uh, we know that you might have killed the other guy in there. So what's up? And we know you're working with enough guardians. So, you know, you don't want anybody to find out about this. So let's see what are the other remaining quests missing in action. So we have to find the guy that doesn't didn't come back from the battlefield. Um, and we also have to brew a dose of swallow potion. And yeah, collect them all is, um, I think, a longer running objective that we play. Like we just collect a lot of uh, Gwent cards. Let's just see if we can find that guy. Call our horse to us. Hello, Roach. And then just look for him. Come on, get on there. All right, let's see where we have to ride to. I kind of prefer looking at the map and just directly ride to it or um, plot my own way. Um, in comparison to following the the given, you know, um, the GPS basically that tells you what roads to take. But in this case, there's well, we could ride through the through the forests here to the lake and then uh, down there. And there is an undiscovered location that we could check out. So the question is, can we set a marker to? Place custom marker. There you go. Let's go to this undiscovered location and then uh, further to our let's go to the destination that we want to go to to um, hopefully find the guy that whose brother was looking for. Um, come on, jump, jump! No, don't get off here. Just jump over it. It's not that hard. Aw, oh, come on. Really? <laughs> Maybe I would have had to jump earlier um, to be able to jump over it. Because uh, Roach automatically slowed down. No, it, it, oh, I cannot. Yeah, I can jump with it, but only at certain times. Not out of... Yeah, not when I'm... Not when I'm um, running or galloping. Oh well. So let's see, are there any enemies around here Whoa. that I wouldn't want to run into? Doesn't look like it. Oops, sorry. Oh, the marker was on not the other so side, fast, so we actually have Make way. to not use this bridge, but use the next bridge. Keep running. And go... So and go through the forest here in the middle of the night. I'm gonna activate my my uh, Witcher senses just so I know when there's a uh, something going on. And yeah, there are those those guys again uh, protecting a treasure or something. So the question Whoa. is, can I take them? I think I can. Uh, well, let's first prepare. I probably want to use fire damage because they're water creatures, so I'd say they're um, affected by fire a lot. And then I'll see if I can just run by and hit them. And hopefully not be affected by the water too much. So we want to use the... I think we want to use the silver sword. Let's wait till one of them uh, walks out so we can attack him with the horse. Come on. Oh, come on, horse. Ah, that didn't work. So let's keep riding. And circle around. 
Oh, come on, that totally should have hit him. But yeah, the, the good thing about um, attacking on the horse is that you get away from them really quickly. I <laughs> really, I missed again. This is uh, bad. Yeah, there you go. Finally got a hit in. And yeah, the, the good thing about the horse attack is that... Um, ah, I was too late. That... Um, that I can... You know, get away really quickly from the enemy. Yeah, keep going. Oh, I missed. Alright, keep galloping. Alright, I killed one of them. Let's go into the, the fast galop. And then back into the canter. Ah, oh, that totally also should have hit him. But it's a very, very safe way, I feel, to engage, um... Like, the enemy, because... Oh, really? Seems that I'm, I'm not hitting at all. Basically, um, I want to manage the horse's stamina too. So I will ride out here. Oh shit, more enemies. <laughs> Don't attack me. Um, so it's, it seems that I stumbled upon a camp of enemies. And I just sliced them up here nicely. One more hit should do the trick for um, that guy. Yes, cut off the head. Very good. So there's one more um, of those guys left. Somewhere in the water, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, oh, there are two more, so overall there were four, I guess. And they're pretty fast, so I actually have to go into the galop. I hit one. And I guess I cannot um, attack that guy. He might just be sitting in um, the water waiting for me to actually walk close enough. Ah, too early. Damn it. It is certainly not, you know, super easy. And I think those are um, pretty easy enemies for for um for a horse attack because they as at least it seems to me they have not the option to actually kick me off the horse but if they're if they're uh, human ones they might you know their axe or something might actually just um take me off the horse so what's up with you oh shit he did. Yeah, I think that kills him. Like, first, let's look at the corpses. Uh, if there's anything for us to loot. And then, uh, let's look at the actual loot that they were protecting. And then, let's look at the camp. But before that, I'm gonna save. Just to be on the safe side. No pun intended before we walk over to that camp. Because as I said, these guys seem to be uh, rather harmless, but I do not know how uh, bad the enemies in the other camp are and what their weapons are and what their strength is. And if, if they get me off my horse and in, an, you know, in a way I'm, I don't expect to, I might just be in the middle of five enemies that just can kill me in you know, one hit if everyone hits at the same time. Alright, let's see what we got out of this. We got a sword, which is way worse than the ones we have. We get really good boots. Wrong button. So these boots um, give us mm, the same amount of slashing damage resistance increase. Um, we again lose the elemental damage. That seems to be um, a recurring theme here, but it's better armor and we get bonuses to other things. 
Great, what else do we got? We got apple juice. We got a lot of crafting components. Which at some point we should actually take a look at crafting uh, what we can do. What what are the items we can take what well, what are items we can make use of right away? And if we can store them somehow, if we uh Moving. have some way to actually store stuff beyond our own capacity. Because I think each um each type has a certain storage limit. Alright, let's see. What's up with those guys? Slow now. Whoa. I know there are enemies over there. They they have a camp or something. Take it easy. Are those the ones? This looks like a ghoul, yeah. Let's take the silver sword. So they're fast. Oh, God damn it! That's what I was afraid of. That the horse just uh, will panic and because there were too many of them. No, don't sheath it. So yeah, let's just walk in there and attack them. I mean, ideally, I would like to do it on the horse. Faster. So let's see if we can um, do that. Come on. And just uh, run by. So yeah, they don't chase after me, and they don't seem to be too interested in actually, um, like, chasing after me and actually finding me. There's a nice fishing village, or a hut here, that we just found. I don't think there's anybody home. So let's go back and slaying those ghouls. Oh, I missed again. God damn it. I used the wrong weapon, so. Slow now. That's it, Roach. See if we can actually make more happen this time. Ah, oh, come on, I miss every single time. This is kinda annoying. No, don't take the steel weapon, god damn it. Oh god, this is annoying. Ah, oh, finally. You got uh, one solid hit in. The issue is if it uh, locks onto an enemy that... And turning around is horrible. If it locks on, onto an enemy that... Run, Roach. That I, I don't care about. It is... Yeah, right, so I killed one of them. <laughs> so let's see if we can Slow now. get Whoa. everyone else in this group just by riding by, basically doing hit and runs. But there are only two left, so <clears throat> I think you can just go off here and attack them head on.
Alright, where's the other one? He's in here, so I probably can't just shoot him. Well, or not. That was actually pretty bad. Took a lot of damage. So I guess we did the good thing and, and triggered um Oh we liberated an area. Interesting. I wonder if that um if that gives us anything, um Oh we won't loot that. I mean that's pretty bad. What? What it what are you offering? Anything interesting? Oh, it is a, a sh uh, like a, sh a shop, basically. What do we have here? White gull. Bring alcohol. Bring alcohol. Turn out page. Grave hack. De oh, decoction. It's a magic item. It's a, a alchemy formula. Each foe slain accelerates vitality regeneration for the duration of the battle. That is actually a really good one. Nice. But I don't have enough money to buy them. Alright, I mean, I would be probably be able to sell a lot of things to him. Like this one. I, oh, it's still um, 117 gold pieces, so I'll take... I sell that one. Um, the Temerian Lily Key, I think... I do no longer need that one. But it's only one gold, so I don't know yet. But with that money, I now am able to buy a one of the torn out pages. Geralt's maximum vitality is increased with each foe killed. This increase lasts until he meditates or fast travels. Wow, that is very good for us. So if we never fast travel, we we just get a lot of vitality. Wow, because we don't have to meditate, as it doesn't regenerate health for us anyway. Damage dealt is increased in vitality as its maximum. Yeah, it's not good for us. We we suck at being at maximum vitality. It will be good for a ranged character, but not for us. Or not for my playing style. I really like that one. Each foe slain accelerates vitality regeneration for duration of the battle. Uh, this one is Wraith Decoction. Whenever a single hit drains more than a third of vitality, a Quen shield is activated with protect protects against the next attack. So that's against that's good against really um, hard hitting enemies. Earth elemental decoction increases the witch's resistance to vitality depleting critical effects applied during combat. The resistance level rises the longer the critical effect is applied. So I think we get this one. Each uh, foe slain accelerates um, the healing, and we still have to craft it obviously. But now we know about it. So those all those things. No, these are all the letters. Yeah, I, I still have to find a way to look up exac well. exactly um, wha where, like, if there's a place I can look up, eh? if there's a place that I can look up what blueprints or what, like, um, abilities I have, like, what, what I can craft, what, the, what I discover yet. Alright, so... We still have to head over to find that guy. Um, I think we, yeah, we discovered the location I wanted to discover, which was this one. So I think my, that's why my marker went away. So we go over the bridge, which is another undiscovered location, and then just go into the ransacked village. But before we do that, let's put a cut into this video. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode and see you next time.